Pull card. That's that's pretty insane. <laughs> like it's a bomb and limited. Um, a total bomb and limited. Um, now, it's even castable in this deck, which has 31 mana if you don't count the green suns. Which is hard not to count because they can go get an elf or a bird. Absolutely, or... absolutely. So that's a 31 conservative mana. Yep. On the left we see Jackie Gr Jackie Lee, Emily on the right with humans, white red humans, zealous conscripts. Uh, Silverblade Paladin, of course, Riders of Gavany. Emily opens up with a Plains. And a Cavern. I'm going to guess it's going to name, uh, I don't know, Warrior, Priest. Perhaps. Oh, Human. Elf. Oh. Unorthodox choice, <laughs> Emily. So, Loyal Cathar comes out. So, she has a, a two drop. No one drop, though. Now, this is running the, um, the eight Doomed Traveler build, as I like to call the four Doomed Travelers and four Loyal Cathar. Yeah. Jackie Lee with nothing on turn two. Very unusual. I expect we're going to see, starting on turn three, either Dungrove Elder or Wolfier Avenger. And now we see a Honor the Pure from Emily, and we're going to go in for two here. Or for three, pardon me. Right. And, you know, it seems like both players kept um, hands without a heck of a lot of action. Jackie Lee no play until turn three. I wonder if she knew that she wasn't playing against a Delver deck. I think we see. I think I see a dismember in the hand. Oh, okay. Yeah, there we go. That that makes a little more sense now. A, uh, I think I might have seen double dismember. Um, also, a painful dismember for Jackie uh, drops her to. It looks like I don't think she took that hit. I'm pretty sure she'll be I at 16. Think, I don't think she took that hit either, but maybe. Um, the unhallowed Cathar is a two-two, not a three-three under the Cannot block here. though. Cannot block. And I think we're uh, likely to see a Dungrove Elder here. Dungrove Elder immediately into defense duty, as it does so well. One of the times we first saw this actually see play in a major event was in the hands of uh, a player, Kyler Fields, who was playing at a Star City Games event. And I know after I watched it play, I was uh, doing coverage with Ari Lax. It inspired me to make a Dungrove deck that I just won about an infinite amount of, of tickets with. Per, basically on the back of Overwhelming Stampede with um, Dungro Builder. And it's just an absurd combo. I know that this deck does not have Overwhelming Stampede, but Revenge of the Hunted can do something pretty similar, which is make something huge and just tear up the world. Wow, oh, and Angelic Destiny on wow. that Unhallowed Cathar. That's going to be huge against this mono green deck. All of a sudden, this is a 6-6 flying and Jackie Lee drops to 10. She does not have a heck of a lot of answers is to a, that. That is a fast clock. Yeah, she can chump block with Birds of Paradise. She can uh, chump block with Birds of Paradise. She can Acidic Slime the, uh, the Destiny, but that's only a one of. Well, there are four green suns, but that's right. still six mana is a long way off. Yeah. She probably thought she was in great shape this game, but the Destiny, a card we haven't seen a lot of recently. Sword of War and Peace might be able to cause a quasi-race with life gain, um, but that's still asking for a lot. In yeah. for four with the Dungrove Elder. Yeah, and Jackie has neither the War and Peace nor the Feast and Famine, both of which would be good here, but uh, she'll have to be content with a bash for four. Emily drops to 16. One thing I'm kind of surprised about is that we don't see a, a, even a single Silverheart in this deck hmm. as a Green Sun Zenith target. Yeah, that card is super powerful. A lot of people used to use um, the 4-4 four -four that gives all the all the green guys Intimidate. Silverheart sort of took over. Okay, we see a Metamorph here. Metamorph on the Elder makes it 8 power in play. A land will make it 10 power with Revenge of the Hunted. That would be 16 power. Ooh. So it is possible that Jackie uh, could actually perform a kill next turn, pr uh, presuming that Emily doesn't win, which uh, could be possible if another Angelic Destiny hits. Yeah, it's it's really tough uh, It's really tough for Jackie here because just about any spell from Emily will uh, will spell her doom just, just by chump blocking alone. If she could somehow miracle two revenges, that's not possible. And is that going to be another Destiny? Oh, man. Oh, nope, it's just a hero. Quote unquote, just a hero. Looks like a destiny, but is not. And that Cathar will come in for six, dropping Down. Jackie Lee to two. And we'll see if uh, 
Jackie can pull this off here. Not sure exactly what she can do at this point. Her mono green deck is really, really weak to Angelic Destiny. In the sideboard, though, one naturalized, two clinging vines, one plummet, so she's ready. And naturalize is also just good against this deck, otherwise, uh, honor is a, as a target. Right. So dismember, I don't mind it. It's. Is that a 2 1? I don't think so. I think that stays alive. We'll make sure of that for you. It is a 2 1, so oh. plus 4 plus 4 yeah. does mean that it'll kill it. I always thought that card was a 2 2 on the flip side. Starts as a 2 2, two becomes a 2 1. Wow. Well, Jackie Lee, uh, not in bad shape at all then. Well, still at 2 life with a hero out still and an angelic life. destiny in Emily's hand. Oh, boy. <laughs> So what Jackie needs to do here is, well, really, since the card is, oh, her total is at four life, still basically about dead. That's 10 damage that Jackie is representing here. I think I see a sword in hand. Okay, there's the sword. Wow, so Jackie Lee so staging a comeback Representing here. 12 damage plus Emily's hand. And now, if Emily has four cards or more, Emily has to block. I can't see Emily's hand, but... Uh, I have to imagine if Jackie's swinging with both of those... Uh, well, you could be, if you don't have it, just hoping that the other person right, messes up. Right. Oh, there's four cards. Four exactly cards. four cards. Wow. This represents a kill. So Emily is required to block here. Can't block the uh, swords creature, and thus is required to block the metamorph. And that's a chump. And Emily just wow. dies. That Eden. is, yeah. what a change of fortunes in that game. At first, it looked like Emily was just going to take it down yeah. in a no contest, but I Jackie mean, had both of her dismembers there. What, what do you do there, right, if you're Emily? If you chump block there with the hero, there is no card that is left in Emily's deck that actually lets Emily recover. A gather of the townsfolk doesn't let Emily recover. There, there is literally nothing left that Emily can recover with. No, at that point. I mean, even a zealous conscripts will take the Dungrove Elder, killing it, but pro red, pro white. Yeah, and Jackie will go to one. Yeah, protection from your deck. Yep, and so Jackie goes to one. There's still the other guy there. Yeah, there was literally nothing that Emily could even top deck. No. So that was it. To the sideboards, we're going to see... Um, here we see the silver hearts in the sideboard for Jackie. So clearly, um, Jackie found that the silver hearts were not being green sun for often enough to have even one in the main deck. But there is that um, that silver heart there in the sideboard. I'm sure we're going to see a second Olvenwald tracker come in. The tracker very good in this matchup. Um, I would be unsurprised to see Garrick Relentless. Um, Garrick Relentless just able to pick off something small, and then probably I would say another sort of War and Peace. And then naturalize. Yeah, she actually has quite a few cards to bring in here. Um, it'll just be what she wants to take out mostly. Yeah. Um, on the other side of things, I think Emily Kerrig is probably going to bring in Faith's Shield. Definitely. Faith's Against Shield the mono seems green deck. really good in, that ma in this matchup. That's an awesome split card. It can either be Alpha Strike, it can be Counter yep. Spell, it can be a ton of things. And having seen Dungrove Elders, um, you know, you have to recognize there's going to be a lot of other creatures coming. Yep. And so, Fiend Hunter, while completely dead against Dungrove Elder, is worth thinking about. But he, but Emily has also seen Frexian Metamorph, so there is still a question mark of whether or not that does the job you want it to do. Right. I, I would almost think something like the Oblivion Rings in her sideboard might be a little better served because of those Metamorphs. Yeah. But really, she doesn't have a lot to sideboard here. Gutshot, I think, is a very reasonable card to bring in against a deck that probably has Elves. Um, in this case, it has seven mana accelerators plus the four grains on Zenith. Yep, yep. We'll definitely see her bring in her one gut shot here. So it looks like gut shot, O ring, maybe Fiend Hunter, Faith Shield for Emily. And for Jackie, I think the ones we'll definitely see her bring in War and Peace, Clinging Vines, Garrick Relentless. Others are probably a question mark for her. Okay. You can see the Star City Games deck box Ooh. floating uh, there uh, in Emily's hand <laughs> as the sideboard is being uh, gone to. Now, one card we did not see from Emily, uh, Mirren Crusader. 
that has some pretty good protection abilities. Protection from green, protection from, well, Jackie's death. Black is the other one, right? Uh, yeah, green, black. Uh, so, uh -oh. Jackie might not be able to dismember that guy. Uh-oh. That one's definitely a problem. Only two, though. Only two. Sort Only of surprising. Two. Uh, though with the recent fall off in uh, in Ramp's popularity, I can definitely understand why she only went with the two there. Does seem um does seem like a lopsided matchup though. Any mono green deck versus a creature deck is almost always going to be a great matchup for for the green deck. I don't care what year you're in, what format you're in. Mono green just destroys other creature decks. Well, one of the things that uh, is particularly problematic for Emily. Is Jackie is main decking three Swords of War in peace, and then has the fourth in the sideboard. Right, that's huge. Yeah, that mean that necessitates an answer of some kind, and uh, yeah, it was actually a super close race on the back of the Angelic Destiny, but two one plus four plus four is still five power, five power able to be dismembered. Now, on the other hand, let's say we had that on, oh, I don't know, a Mirren Crusader. <laughs> <laughs> the dream, as it's called. <laughs> Living the dream. In, so, in, <laughs> in 10 rounds of Swiss, how often is Emily Kerrig, with her three angelic destinies, going to put that destiny on a Paladin or a Crusader? Has in, to be a few. Fun. Yeah. A few. This I mean, deck is just, it, it just does that so well. It just, it punishes you so well if you don't have the answers. And let me tell you, Zealous Conscripts is a heck of a card. <laughs> I, I love that card. That is one of my favorite cards from, from Avacyn Restore. One of the other very interesting choices in Emily's deck is uh, Riders of Gavany, a four drop three, three with vigilance, where you give all of your humans protection from a creature type so I would be unsurprised to hear um, things like Angel yeah. named by uh, Emily and other matchups. In this matchup, Tree. Yeah, yeah, probably protection from Dungrove Elder is going to be the most <laughs> important thing. Uh, Lana Elf, Birds of Paradise, Strangroof Geist, not as important right, right, right. as that giant 6-6. Six -six. Now, I could see that being one of the first cards you sideboard out in this matchup, honestly. Uh, it's a little slow, and a lot of your creatures are either going to be flying over it or swarming it. Yeah, you know, it, it really seems like Emily's deck, uh, it's a little glutted at the four spot. She has three Angelic Destiny, she has two Hero of Bladehold, four Riders of Gavany, so that's, that's uh, nine four drops, and a deck only playing 21 land. That's a lot. Plus, plus of course, the three Zealous Conscripts, so sort of a top-end human deck. For those of you who are just joining us, I'm Adrian Sullivan, joined by Zach Paul. It's the second round of the Star City Games Live Open Series in Massachusetts, here in Worcester. Jackie Lee, you can see on the left, has uh, gotten a lot of renown in the last year for uh, Grand Prix success as well as other successes. And Emily Carrig playing White Red Humans on the right here. We've got a um, first game to Jackie Lee in a nail biter with double dismember. That's all of the dismembers. <laughs> Barely making Jackie Lee take that game, um, game one, on the back of double Dungrove Elder with help of Frexian Metamorph to make a second Elder. Turn one champion versus a turn one. Is that a tracker? It is. Uh, it looks like a tracker. So that card is going to pose some problems for Emily here. She doesn't have a lot of answers to it. Oh, but two champions is a great draw. And we can see she's stumbling a little bit on the lands. She, she might have kept a one lander here. Yeah, she did. Wow. So one land, double champion hand. Jackie Lee untaps with her tracker. And we'll see what she has for two mana. Just in case uh, you're curious about what's happening in the wide world of magic, uh, Jerry Thompson is playing in a standard tournament right now, not here. He is playing, uh, he says, Solar Flare. That has the Esper colors. Jerry is pretty good at picking uh, decks for tournament weekends, so I'm going to stand by that choice I said earlier about Esper of some kind perhaps being the deck for this tournament. Jackie Lee, turn two. Geist. Wow, so Geist on D. Great draw from Jackie Lee, and the Geist is r exactly what she wants right there. She just wants uh, to prolong this game as long as possible because Emily only has one land. And the longer it goes, the further ahead Jackie Lee is going to pull here. Yeah, if Emily does not lay a human in play, that Geist is going to be able to fight and kill the bigger champion. Yeah. 
yeah, and then be able to stick huge. around to talk about it afterwards. Well, the geist's geist. <laughs> it's weird when you're a ghost and you have a ghost. Yeah, I'm not sure how that works exactly. That actually was one of the things I don't like about Moreland Hunt. I think mm. Moreland Hunt should say non-spirit. Ooh, that would give it some flavor. Right? I'm, I'm definitely in favor of more flavor when it comes to magic. Uh, that, you heard it here first, folks. Zach Hall in favor of flavor. Ooh, uh-oh. Savor the flavor. So and the what one champion comes in. Pro Tour mainstay Melissa DeTora now at 2-0. <laughs> so small champion trades with Strangaroot Geist. The Geist gets a counter. And Jackie Lee draws a metamorph. We'll see what Jackie Lee does here with her three mana. She has a lot of options. She can metam. Oh, wow. Sword of War and Peace in her hand, too. So she's really in the driver's seat here. This is shaping up to be a really quick match. Emily Carey. Keeps a risky hand. If she drew a land, though, I have to imagine she would have just exploded onto the table here, just dropped a ton of humans, overwhelmed Jackie Lee. And she finally settles on. She uh, thumbing the war and piece to the front there. Decides to attack first. We'll see if Emily takes the trade. I don't think she can afford to here. I think she just has to take three damage and hope she draws some more lands for her humans. I don't know that there's anything that Emily can uh, can do right now other than just trade and then hope Jackie has nothing else to, mm. to go with it. But I mean, if you're facing a tracker deck, you can expect that there can be more creatures. <laughs> yep, and there's the sword versus a lowly oh, Lorwyn Plains. Good. Goodness, goodness. Oh, well, there's a cavern, so Emily gets the second land. Maybe a little too late, but we'll see what she can do. Just I mean... There's going to be a clogged hand for Emily, so if this sword, if nothing else happens but the sword going on the tracker, that could be enough just to win the game by itself. This opens up the possibility, and Jackie does not know what Emily is playing with regards to sideboard cards. It opens up the possibility to, you know, a gut shot in response, a dismember in response, but we don't see that happen. And instead, we now have a pro white pro red tracker and any creature that actually comes down jackie if jackie even cares to can fight it yeah jackie might not even care to oh, oh yeah. tracker, tracker number two number two this yeah this is just a nightmare matchup for emily especially with this draw she had just did not get the cooperation that she needed from her deck to be in this game unfortunately and here we have a loyal cathar yep she needed a lean and relic border right there but even that, at this point, is just a little too late. Now, if Emily can somehow kill her own loyal Cathar, she will have a blocker. Oh, that's not true. The zombie can't block. Oh, you know, each time, each time I think uh, I try and find a way around that 2-1 loyal Cathar, comes back and gets me. One of the things that's kind of crazy here is Jackie can attack, and then after the attack is uh, declared, still still before the blockers are declared, make make a fight happen with the other tracker. Yeah. The other tracker targeting the first tracker and the new creature. But that's if Jackie even cares to. No. <laughs> you know? No, that 2-2 two -two white Cathar is oh, not... Can't block, oh. pro-white. You see, pointing out the sword, what it does. Oops. So please take three plus... A million. Whatever you've got in your hand. <laughs> Approximately one million. I have these cards in my hand. I will gain, was it two or three life there? Looks like three life. Jackie up to, no, four, four life. Jackie up to 27. But her life total, pretty irrelevant right now. It's just if she can kill Emily. Three mana. And another sword, wow. Emily needs a Terminus off the top. Ooh, a Terminus. Not, uh, I don't think that was it. Not in the 75. Well... At least you're thinking about ways that the <laughs> game could be won. Outside the box here. So I, I think we'll see Emily packing it in. Maybe the Cathar will get in for some consolation points of damage here. 
but Emily is drawing dead at this point. No spells in the deck that can save her. Yeah, this uh, the Sword of War and Peace just takes this deck apart. If that if that card ever lands, it's tough. One of the real problems that uh, I think happened for a lot of decks when the swords were printed is that they just have so few really good answers. I mean, one of the things we saw back when Sword of War and Peace was printed, that red decks started really having to think about anti-artifact cards. And red is a, as a uh, archetype is pretty much gone right now. And that has to do with a lot of factors. But back when Sword of War and Peace was first printed, it was just a real problem. And then we started seeing Sword of War and Peace showing up in the Delver lists to fight the mirror because you could put the sword on whatever and right. it would be able to win a fight heads up. But then against the various Moreland Haunt, those spirits are all white and so War and Peace would just slide right past. And now with, uh, with the Angel, Angel, still white. Yeah. It's an awesome card, but if there's a sword out, there you Can't go. Can't block, yeah. Right. Yeah, it seems like the prevalence of War and Peace has, has really knocked a lot of these decks that we once uh, saw a ton of in standard. Mono Red, Humans, sort of knocked them off the radar. O-Ring, okay. just, uh, just stalling things out, really, because there's that other sword. Yeah. Um, Emily can O-Ring the one sword, but the second one will get her. All Jackie has to do is equip an attack. Which and that's all we see. She's Quit. not. She, yeah, she's not gonna miss that one. She's uh, sorted up enough green creatures in the past uh, past year to know how that one works. And yeah, there's the game. Jackie Lee 2-0 over Emily Carrig. Not really much of a match there. That that first game was very close. The second game though, Emily's deck just did not cooperate. Yeah, I think that that first game was 